you can go first here. Uh, you have a play for us against uh, a team that we just keep picking on. Yes. And I think I've ended up backing the Flames a lot. I don't know how good it has been to me. But that said, they played a pretty respectable game in New York, which every Flames game seems kind of respectable. It's always kind of the same story. They find a way to give up enough to let the other team into it. Whatever it is, they don't finish their chances. But I'm going to go back to Calgary. I still believe in them, and I think it's just such a good spot versus Detroit to take advantage and collect two points. The Flames are still featuring three lines who should be able to win a lot of these matchups. If they get steady goaltending, I'd like to think they go with Vladar here. I think a lot of people were already kind of like, at what point is Sutter just going to ride Vladar when he's winning every start? Well, it wasn't the New York game. And I think Mark's probably been better than people think. But with that said, the Vladar numbers are starting to be a little hard to look away from. And yeah, I just think Calgary still has enough talent in the lineup to take advantage of Detroit here and just get moving in the right direction. So I'm going to go with the Flames at plus 105 to win in regulation. I got nothing uh, on that game. But my favorite bet uh, is in the Islander game. I will be there again uh, as they host... Anthony Beauvillier, former Islander, and the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Canucks plus 170, Isles minus 210, over under six and a half. The uh, Canucks are playing on Wednesday night in MSG, so it's a back-to-back, but you know not, not too much travel there. And I'm going a little off, uh, off the beaten path, usually. I don't do this for this section, but I actually like the anytime goal scorer market on Josh Bailey. Uh, this is going to sound crazy because he's been terrible this entire season, but Josh Bailey's played something like a thousand and forty games in his NHL career, all with the Islanders, and I've probably seen a thousand and ten of them. And as much as we try to, you know, use numbers and you know whatever to to guide us on these bets, uh, I can tell when Josh Bailey. I've watched him up where I can tell if he's starting to round it to form a little bit, and he is, and a lot of it is or. All of it is because he's now the third wheel on a line. We 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 talk about how you need two players to drive a line. The Islanders have Bo Horvat playing with Matt Barzell now. They're driving a line. It looks fantastic. Bailey is the third man. He, in true Josh Bailey fashion, uh, against the Kraken, saved his own shot off the goal line. He beat Martin Jones on a on a great move down low. And then what happened? Josh Bailey flipped his own puck. The old double hit. Yeah, the old double hit. To, I actually to didn't the, see that. To I the blue line. That. Yeah, in the first period. <laughs> uh, with I was Like I said, I was in the building and I was holding a Josh Bailey first goal scorer ticket. So that was just wonderful to watch. Um, anyways, Barzell and Horvat, they're clicking already. Uh, both, both players have goals uh, in their two games together. Bailey's coming close. Uh, and it's and I'm, t- I'm telling you, it's because he's not forced to be the second man on the line with Barzell. He's played with, it's been Barzell, Bailey, Casey Sezikis, who's their fourth line center, Barzell, Bailey, Beauvillier, who's clearly not a top line winger in the NHL. Uh, so now that Bailey can kind of do what he does best, which is, which is kind of be the, the trailer, the guy who, who kind of sits and waits and stalks the pace of the game uh, and cleans up, he looks better. He looks better. He looks dangerous. He's getting good looks. If he doesn't save his own shots, uh, he's going to find the back of the net. And he's going to be a big number because he's got six goals on the season and he hasn't scored in months. So if you can get Josh Bailey, he should be around plus 350, plus 400, anytime goal scorer, or if you want to back him first goal scorer, however you want to do it, I think he's going to be a great bet. I also like the Islanders to to light it up uh, again. I think the offense has started to come around a little bit. It's not just Horvat, it's also Kyle Palmieri's healthy. So it gives them two legitimate scoring lines for the first time in a long, long time. Uh, and it allows everyone kind of just play their role, uh, their respective role. There's not too much pressure being put on guys like, uh, you know, Zach Parisi, J.G. Pajot to, to to carry the offensive bird and they can do what they do best. Um, so yeah, Josh Bailey, anytime goal scorer. I don't know if you saw that one coming uh, as my, my favorite bet for uh, Thursday night. 